Um, so. The tier list is shaped like a big F. I'm open. open. I'm open. I'm open. Welcome to the I'm Open podcast, uh, made every week by Ryan, Sam, Joe, and Andrew. Today is our first weekly episode in like four weeks, not counting the streak one. But we haven't done a tier list in a while. Our tier list is was obviously four weeks ago, really, really good. But right now, it's it's a little silly. Mm-hmm. Um. Yeah. Any yeah. any we- thoughts? Any thoughts before we? shake it up how you guys doing it's been a minute i mean we did the detroit uh episode last week this feels like the first formal episode in a minute um i feel like i haven't caught up with you guys that much is there anything new any 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 news anything i should know about oh i don't know my life's been boring all right (laughs) i just watched that's perfect that all right fuck it let's get into it then <laughs> damn <laughs> could be people don't care anyway the people want no. the tier list this is what the people want yeah let's give it to them um yeah oh. we wow. don't really have personal lives so we have nothing to bore people with there um yeah so where we last left it we had three c or t- three c tiers i think and one of them was C, one of them was Central, one of them was CD-ROM. And it's then we had UTI, which stood for something, Texas. Yeah. Something. It was probably funny. I, I think it was U- Ultimate. Oh, my God. What was it? Ultimate it was Texas something... Institute. <laughs> something like that. <laughs> yeah. Something that didn't really make sense. And then, of course, we have Gorpus. We have Mechanix. Um, Gorpus. There is now, I think, one winless team on this list, and it's not the Mechanics, and it's not Corpus. That's true. I think we decided to just move Mechanics tier. We talked last week about it. I think we were just saying, like, keep Mechanics tier, but move it above, like, the Dallas tier. Like, move Legion below Mechanics. Hmm. Yeah, yeah. (laughs) Yeah, I'm, I'm with that. I'm with that. Give mechanics their flowers, even though they did just get uh dunked yeah. on by by uh who was it? They they they, they lost big. I think to Minnesota. Uh, Minnesota. 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 Yeah. 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 What do we call uh, this one? Just Dallas. Oops. Lead last. We don't even have like a like that's the that's the problem with Dallas is like F. with the mechanics we have this like endearing nickname for them but like with Dallas we just don't even yeah that's I kind of like F it's just a bummer yeah 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 it's just gotta sad. call it like it is I think we need to have a real conversation about is mechanics below Gorpus like for sure I don't know that's true I Gorpus mean... only got their win over Nitra over Aviators but. Mechanics got their win over Pittsburgh, which is above Aviators. Didn't Corpus beat someone else too? No, I don't think so. Are they They're one in seven? Oh. Aviators have another win though. I'm misremembering. Yeah. Um. I'm yeah. I'm bummed. That's a good I'm, point. I'm bummed that we didn't make a tier list last week because I think Aviators would have been Corpus like no brainer, no brainer so Corpus. They, now yeah. they just beat the Spiders. So what right. do we do with that? Do we put them in central tier together or like or like we might need to put all the shitty teams from the west and the central together? Yeah. Except is, for maybe <laughs> Gorpus. It is such a mishmash. Also yeah, because look, spiders and growlers just traded the last two weeks. Yeah. It's confusing. I think I think uh Seattle might be like Seattle's ahead above of them. Seattle's above. Yeah. Minnesota Seattle would did. be ahead, but everyone else is yeah. just kind of in there. I, so maybe I mean I think Seattle's got to go to B tier. They just beat the Summit, and oh, let's get to that later. Let's get to all. I think some stuff needs to move around up there for sure. Oh yeah, big time. 
Wait, so where were we? We're, we were talking about Detroit. Are we leaving them there? Below. Let's. I think. I think we should. Let's because, put uh, Nitro in the Mechanix tier, and Mechanix in the Gorpus tier. <laughs> Whoa! <laughs> Hold on. I hate that. Hate that. I love it. <laughs> veto. Hard veto. Mechanix stay in Mechanix tier. There, there's I only one the, team. The Mechanix beat like that is the Mechanix Pittsburgh's B team plus Max Shepard from. Like, even Ruffner called it ahead of time, was like, oh, this is probably the week. Pittsburgh's bringing nobody. So, I, yeah, I don't know. I don't, I don't yeah, like, every, uh, like, we could talk about it. It seems like everyone called it. Like, Boston wore the break the streak shirts. Like, people were talking about this is the week. So, mm-hmm. interesting. So, I don't know. I don't know how much credit I give to that other than it just, literally being a win <laughs> and having to count as a win yeah let's um, let's uh let's 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 put him above corpus i just don't i i don't think they can be above. i you know i think that's a little too reactionary like they got a win but like it was against i don't know i don't they're so bad. bad. Yeah, but they beat the aviators, and the aviators just beat the spiders, and I don't know. I still think the mechanics are very bad, but they have a win, so they're above the legion, and that's all that gets them in my in my eyes. Like, let's not yeah. let's not. I think I see see it the same way as you. Yeah, let's not go too crazy here. Although, I mean, the Pitts, Pittsburgh did kind of whoop the Alley Cats. I don't know. But but that doesn't... What does that mean? The Central's too confusing to... You know? Yeah. I gotta say... I was thinking, like, Detroit plays some close games where you think it's uh maybe this is the week, but I'm looking at their scores right now, and no other game's even close. <laughs> maybe thinking <laughs> of last year. Yeah, I think I'm thinking of the Alley Cats game last year. Mm-hmm. These are like and, all blowouts. And I feel like I've referenced that game on multiple episodes. And I think we're just giving Detroit like too much credit in yeah, some ways. Yeah, you might be right. Like they, they've played a couple close games like a year ago. <laughs> like the, <laughs> their, their games this year have not been very close. Yeah, like this one is intriguing from the Nitro. The rest are kind of blowouts. I mean, they lost by five, the Aviators. Yeah, that's and then out of one blowout. point game. All right, well we 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 could keep Nitro up there, I guess. The 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 thing that's tough about this tier list is we like last year we could kind of look at wins and losses and be like, are right, this team beat that team? Like we've already the West has beaten everybody, the Central has beaten everybody. Like at some point, I think we just got to go on vibes. Like, yeah, going yeah. into the playoffs, if is this team like, do they deserve a spot in the playoffs or? Do they? Do you think they're gonna show out in the playoffs? And it's like right now, Gorpus and Mechanix, like they have bottom three vibes over any team in the league. I'm gonna say that's a bizarre way to bring up a comparison between Nitro and Mechanix to talk about their playoff vibes. But I, I hear what you're saying. <laughs> it was agree. more an overarching point on like this whole tier list. It's like I know if, once we move yeah. up to Central, <laughs> it's just like this whole thing explodes. So it's just like we shouldn't put too much stock into like Gorpus and Mechanix. Like, <laughs> should we just make one Gorpus Mechanix tier? No, no. Well, no. I think I think I think, I think they can. I'm a purist. Me. You're a purist. I think, separate. I, I agree. I'm a Mechanix purist. I also I'm think a Mechanix purist. Um, I think Havoc belong in Gorpus as they are here. I since agree. They, they only beat Dallas, and like, what is that good for? So yeah, I, I, I think we're spending a little too much time on this. I, I, I like where it's at right now with Gorpus, but Mechanics, at least with Mechanics below Gorpus. That's how I feel. Yeah. Um, Between CD-ROM and Gorpus, is there any shuffling that needs to happen? Uh, I mean, Toronto has, Toronto's one and nine. Toronto's bad. Toronto's Gorpus. Toronto's Toronto easily. keeps, yeah, they keep <laughs> losing to Montreal. They're the definition yeah. of Gorpus. Yeah. Their only win is Pittsburgh, which is also true of Detroit. That's so. insane. They blew out Pittsburgh too. It was like seven or eight points. Yeah. I wonder if it was the same like skeleton crew that they yeah. just, just throw them in Gorpus. I don't even care where. Like I'll give them the, the I, East I think, bias of yeah. top. But 
Yeah. Corpus, for sure. Also, they have such Corpus jerseys, if we're being real. I hate them. Oh, my God. Uh, I think they embody everything about what Corpus is about. Yeah. Um, really? I mean, 888 yeah. Casino sponsor us, but I fucking hate them. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, those are brutal. Um, Yeah, do we feel good about the ordering here in the Gorpus tier? I mean, I think we're splitting hairs sure. a little too much at this point, but... Sure. Looks good to me. Are, did so the aviators played themselves out of being in Gorpus today, is what we're thinking. Yeah. yeah, yeah. They had a solid. They had a. They had a commanding win over the spiders. So, does that put the spiders a CD rom? Does that move the aviators up? I think that I think the aviators would have been in Gorpus if we had made a tier list last week. And so then they would have moved back up to CD-ROM. Mm-hmm. I think I think we should combine Central and CD-ROM and then uh, yeah, move was, some teams out of Central. I was I like thinking it. we could be really brave and instead of having three C-tiers have one, or sorry, not one, that's crazy, have two C-tiers. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that's fine. Um, <laughs> so I'll just, for now, throw them out of here. All right. I mean, yeah, come on, get Oakland out of there. <laughs> yeah, um, that's all right. Wait, we were saying Austin, boom. get Austin out of there too. Yeah, Austin's kind of do. There's a conversation, but you know, I don't think they're a guaranteed B at all. I'm just gonna, uh, I don't know. All right, something like that, and we'll figure it out. All right, Growlers, I think. Played play themselves either to the top of CD ROM or bottom or into central tier. No, I, uh, they're definitely over they're, the aviators. They're under they're 500 the though, aren't they? They, they? they beat Oakland. They're they're rising. They, they're they beat Oakland and they lost Oakland last week. Yeah, I like they're they're te- they're even. And Matt Miller is playing out of his mind. Travis Dunn's playing great. Uh, I think Jake Rubin's on that team. Like, he's playing great. They're definitely. They're definitely spicy, and I can see them like sneak. The, the whole West playoff picture is really weird right now. Like Oakland dropping two this weekend opened it up. They were supposed to have that third seed locked up, and now it's like Growlers and Summit might have a shot. Mm-hmm. Yeah, the West is just kind of a shit show. Um, I I don't know what's the Growlers' record right now though. They're like Four. still. Four and six. Yeah. yeah. Four and six. And I would argue that Colorado has a more impressive four and six than they do. Oh, Colorado. Yeah. yeah Colorado it's has Colorado had to play. To some much better teams and, yeah. and Atlanta played better. Yeah. Atlanta, they beat Minnesota. the spread. So, like, that's huge. Mm-hmm. Yeah. They lost to Minnesota. They, Oakland's still I, over 500, though. Yeah. But Oakland hasn't yeah. played anybody good besides Salt Lake. And, and they did beat the Colorado, but we're they did beat game. Seattle, who's currently in first. Oh and shit! They did beat Seattle. Did beat I mean, I will say also, also they're so the, hot the and cold. Summit, yeah, the Summit Growlers game was a four point Summit win. Yeah, the, I mean, we the Summit are hard to judge because we know when their full roster is there, they're a top dog. They can beat uh, Salt Lake, but they haven't had a full. Quinn Finer's played three total games, and it's the last three games. Nethercut's played, I think, two games. Like, they're just never bringing a full roster anywhere. So, What's going on with that? What's going on I, with I, that? I kind of want to give them a demerit for, like, not showing up. Like, like my, my, my issue with that, too, is that, like, let's say that next week they even have their full roster. Like, just the fact that they've just been so – it's just been a slightly different lineup every week that it's hard to, like, get in a rhythm. It's hard to get that – chemistry and that feel so like even if they bring everybody i feel like it's going to take a couple of weeks for them to get like back to how we think of them so yeah. right yeah i don't like know like the loss to seattle today is a good example where they had finer but like lost a close game and maybe it's like they haven't they aren't like mid-season form the way a team like seattle miraculously yeah. has decided to bring everyone this year yeah they've just been i mean i I haven't been looking at the roster every week but i it it seems to me like they've been the more consistent team um out of all the teams in the west that aren't called the shred so 
I don't know. I don't know what that means, what we do, but I mean, Summit, Summit, oh man, I don't know what we do. All right, someone yes. someone call out something they want to move here. Drop Pittsburgh. down Carolina. Sorry, that's too far up. Yeah, Pittsburgh's got to go down. Pittsburgh's got to oh, get sorry. out of I was tier. I was talking about the C tiers for now. I think I think Pittsburgh literally just played them out of central tier. You can't lose to the Mechanics and stay in that that area. God, they whooped the Alley Cast. Maybe the Alley Cast need to move down. So the Alley Cast won today, um, right? Or yesterday? Yeah, they did. Um I have Austin Madison? Austin dropping because they have only beaten the UTI teams. <laughs> They're five and five. They haven't beaten a single team outside of Texas. Yeah. Get out of that central tier. Yeah, they lost to Chicago, didn't they? Yeah. Hmm. Okay. Out of the tier or bottom of the tier? I don't know. That's up for debate, I guess. Okay. All right. Um, I think Pittsburgh should drop below Oakland. Yeah. I fair. guess. Yeah. There's yeah, just yeah, no yeah. way those California teams lose to the Mechanics, even if they're like top five guys aren't there. I think this yeah. is a recency bias tier list. And I think I'm clinging on to the Pittsburgh uh, win over the Alley Cats a little too much. Pittsburgh because that also happened. Beat Chicago. Mm-hmm. Oh, man. But Chicago, I'm not, I've, I've never been that high on them. But didn't like Oakland beat um, Seattle? Like, or no? I don't know, guys. I'm fine with you right now. Um, I love Philly just sitting. Why are the Alley Cats at the top of this? Because someone has to be. (laughs) (laughs) There's no way they're the best team up here. Did Chicago lose recently? To Minnesota. I put Chicago up there because they they play well. Or didn't the Alley Cats just beat Chicago? No, Chicago, I think, beat the Alley Cats. Alley Cats beat uh, the Rascals. Yeah, and the Rascals also have been playing pretty well, too. Rascals beat the Summit. Oh, yeah. Chicago beat Alley Cats by five. Oh, my God. Yeah, so I guess you mean at the top makes sense with how the last few weeks have gone. Rascals beat the Summit. And are in a playoff position oh, right now. That's a good point. Oh, who did? Was it someone who said that the Rascals might make the playoffs? Did someone say that at the beginning of this? Oh, interesting. <laughs> Very interesting. Still a long way to go here in the central. We, we when the, the playoffs fuck up happen, we really <laughs> got to look back at that take chart. Unlike last year, where we just that might be my only good take ever, and it might not even come true. So I'm gonna shut the fuck up now. But um, <laughs> oh man, I don't know what to do. I almost want to make just two tiers, and one is like, oh man, but the shred got fucking whooped. Never mind. I don't know. Just one tier, and just everyone's just the same. <laughs> every team is just the same. Just put every it's like team a the line. <laughs> it's really long and narrow it's like a really weird screenshot where it's like <laughs> the format is just a nightmare you think growlers over oakland i don't know i don't know they just beat them yeah they also just lost to them i know so you know what do we do, well, what do we... which happened more recently exactly the growlers Okay, we're a recency bias. And they God. won by four versus three, so. Oh, that's a good point. There you go. <laughs> All right, I like If you. this were like soccer home and away series rules, then that's a win. Okay, wait, but also we still have the hot birds and the cold birds out there, and I feel like we have just given we, Philly an accurate ranking. Yeah, we just brought them really close. Yeah, so we, so we just get, get rid of the cold birds? Yeah, they I don't did know how play to take them off of here. Though. They did play a one point game to down. New York, and they also lost so. by 12 or 10. <laughs> to uh, right, I'm gonna Boston. quickly Google it. What if you just click delete? If you right click on it. What if you just delete that tier and add a new tier and add the leech back in? Oops. 
Oh, that's probably it. Yeah, well done. Oh. Look at us. We're killing it. I feel like someone's grandparent when they're like asking them how to log into their email or something. I feel like that should have been very straightforward and it just Okay. Sweet. Um yeah, where were we with this? With these central tiers? We might be done. Yeah. I don't know. Do we want to talk? I think it's if, perfect. If Austin deserves central or if they should get dropped. I don't know. I think Austin's still good. Like why? I think I think they're better than the California teams. Well their game with, their game with uh Chicago was like a real game. I know, but their game with Dallas a couple weeks ago was also a real game. <laughs> yeah, that's true. But I mean I'm going to try to judge them based on them playing real teams, which is like them getting it handed to them by like Carolina and Atlanta and then playing an actual game with Chicago, which I think makes them deserve the same tier as Chicago. I feel like there's also an element of um, like we know what their ceiling is. We know that the, we know that their yeah. ceiling is higher than a lot of those teams below them. Same with the Summit. Um, right. And if this, if they were called a different team, and had the same result, I think we would maybe be comfortable having them lower. But I, I know that you know they made championship weekend last year, and um, I don't know. And and same same thing with the Summit. We know we know what they can look like when they're you know clicking. So I yeah, that's I totally kind of keeping them that. from being lower. I totally hear that, and I actually do think that they belong in Central and not CD-ROM. It's it's just like at what what could they possibly do this season that would drop them if not what they're currently doing, which is only beat atrocious teams and lose to every real team? Probably That's a good get, like, really I mean, If they had gotten like, spanked by Chicago, I think I would be more inclined to drop them. But like, they lose to, they could lose to Houston, man. I mean, I yeah, don't know. losing a Texas game for sure. Oh, would absolutely. Obviously, drop them. Absolutely. But I don't think, I don't think like an unimpressive, like any level of unimpressive win against one of the other Texas teams, I'm always like in the back of my mind going to dismiss as like, you know. I think the Summit have whatever. a better case. Some have a better case for being dropped lower just because they have a losing record right now. They also just um, have, well the thing about the summit is they have a really good win. Sure. sure. Mm-hmm. Like Austin doesn't have a win. That's good. Yeah. Like right, well, Austin beat that's Carolina what I'm saying, at like, some point, we would keep them up there, but they haven't. You know? I feel like that all just kind of evens out at the end and yeah. they kind of belong next to each other in the central for now. Yeah, mm-hmm. I agree. That's kind of that's kind of what I was trying to get at. But um I think there's still some more movement that needs to happen. Um, oh yeah. You know, as we kind of move up here, totally. what is going on with the Empire? Because I was ready to move them in some way, or maybe move someone else up, but like they just dunked on the shred, right? Yeah. What's going on with Carolina too? What do we do? It was at New York, yeah. right? It was. Yeah, it was at New York. New York dunked One on the shred, 11. and then at DC, DC dunked on Carolina. One by twelve. I have a radical idea. Those Sorry, I have a rascal idea. Oh, uh, I don't think any team on this tier list has set themselves apart to be S tier. Yeah, we need to get rid of S tier or leave it empty. Mm. I'm kind of with that. I kind of like it. After that big of an L, like it even was, though it's, it's such a, road, a huge L, like such a big L. If it was a close game, fine, but they got smacked. Right. Yeah. Like, I think what Sam just did, like those six teams, all are all A tier teams. We can decide the order in a second, but yeah, that was just such a huge L. But yeah. again, like, what is what does Minnesota have to do to be mm-hmm. considered A tier here? They're eight and one, they're the best record in the whole league. Yeah, that's it's tough. Um, is it be sure look? I they think had a it's dumb a, loss. They had a really dumb. Their loss. Yeah, dumb. and they also they almost also almost lost to Chicago too. Mm-hmm. Yeah, but they beat they, they beat the, the Summit. 
Yeah, lost to uh, Pittsburgh. Who we decided is not a great team. And lost like, at home. Lost at home to Pittsburgh. I think that's what's that's, tanking them. That's bad. Yeah. That one L. That's so bad. But that also really the Alley Cats had an even worse loss to Pittsburgh. And so Yeah. yeah. And then at not, least it was at Pittsburgh, though. They're like not blowing anyone out, really. Except, except for Detroit. Detroit. Do we need um, okay? Maybe we can if we can differentiate the Pittsburgh um teams, because didn't um didn't we bring up the uh, idea uh, of maybe like a um yeah, Kyle had an idea. Oh god, the yeah, the poop birds and the thunder the the thunder the thunder turds. Yeah, the thunder birds and the thunder turds, I think. Yeah. Um yeah. And, and look, if if you lose to the Thunder Birds, that's a more respectable loss. And if you lose to the Thunder Turds, then that That's is really an embarrassing. Bad. That's a bad loss. So it just depends. Like we can weight those differently. You know what I mean? So maybe, it's maybe, a uh, maybe a close loss to the Thunder Birds doesn't count that much against Minnesota versus like, um, I don't know. I don't know. I, uh, I have no issue with Minnesota being an A tier because I, I see them at championship weekend again. Like they were there last year. Um, well, that's, and one. Due to, that's due to conference. Yeah, exactly. But how do you not – we we looking at the A tier right now. We've got two South teams, two – three East teams, and a West team. Like, shouldn't we have at least one playoff contender from the Central in there? No, I don't – I mean, I'm, uh, I'm fine with it, but I don't, I don't think so. I don't think the four teams that make championship weekend are the four best teams in the league. Gotcha. Be I, over I, so I thought you year. started this conversation. You got your Minnesota jersey on. I thought you were like, yeah, you're oh, repping Minnesota, Joe. What is this? Minnesota? Uh, I was very if confused. I'm being I honest, I'm for this. I'm saying a lot of things, and it's mostly like so that we hammer in these points. You know, that we have a reason <laughs> for everything. You know, sure. And, sure. Uh, I don't always agree with the things that I say. I just kind of <laughs> like talking. Cool. Cause back to my vibes idea. Like I don't think the vibes are that high in Minnesota. Like you lose the no, first close games in Chicago. Yeah. It was a I mean they they had um there was like a crazy layout to save the game. Like Chicago was about to mm-hmm. like break to win or something, or yeah, bad, I mean, either idea. way. Like, Wait, they had, you know what? You know what? Should we have a conversation about Salt Lake? Yeah, we probably should. I guess they close. have this win over DC. Close. First game of the season. And close they play game. close games to the Growlers and the Aviators. Blow out. One blowout. Blow Loose to the Summit. Close. close. They get clapped by the Empire. Jordan Kerr is hurt, out. which I think we should consider when Still we're evaluating playing, them as a team. Yeah, What's he going played, on with Jake he Kerr? played this week. On? He, he like fractured something in his right wrist, so not his yeah. throwing hand. So he's playing with a cast. Yeah, yes. he like missed a game, and then I think he missed the Aviators game, and then he played this week, and I mean, it didn't go super great. Yes. I don't know how he did statistically as a. Marquez individual. had a really good game. All right, yeah, here's did. what I think. I think Jordan Kerr had a hundred yards total. How many? Oh, only wow. ten completions, and he played sixteen. How, that's a non-factor. Yeah, I don't know, man. Yeah, I think I think I think the hustle and the breeze are the two best teams in the league right now. I think the breeze kind of played themselves that way because they Wait, beat what the, about Empire. the glory? What are we talking? The breeze. I mean, let's the... just talk vibe. I think I, I don't think that Boston is actually better than DC. Well, hear has, hear me out. Has DC beat Boston? No, but, but I hear believe... me out. Twelve eleven and one. I think what was it? Wait, how was it twelve eleven? It was like horrible weather. Okay, it's a one point game in horrible weather is not convincing to me. I'll be honest. Listen, listen, Ryan. We're a recency bias pod. Um, DC. Well, the Boston win against DC was more recent. Well, I, but, but, I, but that's yeah, not what I I'm think... trying to say. Listen to me. Listen here. <laughs> listen. I have a good point. They okay. beat New York convincingly. New York beat... beats Salt Lake was S tier. New York beats Salt Lake convincingly. DC is better than New York. New York is, uh, uh, I mean, I guess I, we have to say they're better than Salt Lake right now. If we want to not even do the transitive property, 
And they Carolina, Carolina was Carolina was S tier, and the Breeze just they beat them by twelve. They shat on Carolina. They shat on Carolina. Mm-hmm. They just like doubled up on Carolina. Who we I don't thought think was I don't think Boston has a win anywhere near that good. They beat Philly by nine, but I'm I'm so I did DC, why. DC beat them by ten. Philly is dog shit, man. They're a do- <laughs> they're a shitty team. <laughs> Sorry. DC, DC and Boston both beat New York. DC and Boston both beat each other. Oh, that's not well, even Boston true. lost to New York as well. Yeah. Yeah, but DC right, hasn't, I, I hasn't think... played their uh, Empire Road game yet. Yeah. I think I think all three of them are very interchangeable. I'm okay having DC on the top. You know, recency bias with that pretty big game against Carolina. Yeah, they, they just they just doubled up on Carolina. Yeah, so we got to give them credit for that. Yeah, I, I think I think it's close though. Like any given day, those three teams Absolutely. are super competitive. And, sure. sure, and they're Absolutely. definitely up there in like the best teams. Hustle, totally hustle. Agree. Have they lost? No, wait. Who they draw? Yeah, they've lost to Carolina twice. Which is the which is the Whoa. issue? But then they just beat Carolina, and yeah, they've like beaten the Empire early. also. So I, early losses. I think this is like except for Salt Lake, which is really weird. Um, I think all of these teams have just shown that like they're really good, and really good teams win and lose. You know, it's it's really close. Mm-hmm. Um, except for this DC Carolina game where they just fucked them over. Like I would say, all these teams can like beat each other, and he's and that's why they're on the same tier. You know, yeah, 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 that's fair. I mean, Shred beat Breeze the first game of the season. Right. Yeah, I think. I mean, yeah. I think DC goes to Carolina. It's you know, Carolina has their hundred like full team. It's a close game. I don't, I don't take this as a huge like. Oh man, there's just no way Carolina can't beat the DC. You know. Oh no, I totally agree. But yeah. blowout still a blowout. Oh yeah, and yeah. And 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 I think that's part of why we have to be a recency bias pod because like the margins are very very thin with all these teams and so like what happened this week I think like is fresh on our minds here you know mm-hmm. and it kind of has to be like we we have to come up with we have to nitpick you know so um, we have to introduce logical fallacies into our thought process. Yeah, the Empire also only beat the Phoenix by one. Mm-hmm. Yeah, the Empire. I think the Empire are coming into their own last few weeks. They yeah. had some questionable results for the beginning yeah. of the season. But yeah, I, I know that Cam was really low. Cam Brock, uh all time leading goal scorer, friend of the pod, was uh really low on Empire and he had his whole um viral rant on our episode. Um, but I I I I was very convinced at the time and he, and he was correct at the time, but I just knew that they would make some adjustments and I feel like they have now, mm-hmm. you know, like I, I, I think, I think there's still a player. They they could, man, the empire could win it all. You know, I still think I, they could. I want to yeah. toot my horn because yeah. I think Cam Brock specifically said he thinks the empire are going to go below 500. Did he say those words? I think he said that they have a chance to, but not that he thought that they would. Okay. Yeah. As they're sitting right now, seven and three, they do have two tough games. And I think next yeah. week against Minnesota is like one shout out the UFA for doing all these like interdivision games. Like this is fucking awesome. Um, yeah. I think empire win that game and then they go in three and then they play DC. And I think if I had to give it to someone, I'd probably go DC. So eight and four, that's still, that's still really good. So I don't think Cam's take is that I, I think at the time I wasn't on the pod and I was like, dude, what are you talking about? They're not going to go 500. He was like, I don't know. So no, he made, he convinced me. I mean, I, but I still like in the back of my I, I mind, still... I was like, they could still make adjustments. Like if things aren't going right, like they're just, they've been so good for so long that like, even without their top players, you know, Oscar taking a back seat, like uh cats is gone. Like I still see them like, um, I mean, they business. lost their MVP ness. Like, they'll be okay. Their MVP ness. <laughs> uh, I also feel like just because New York has won some games doesn't mean anything that Cam said was really wrong. I feel like a lot of what right. he said was like analytical about them, as opposed to like they're going to lose a lot of games this year. Well, and he I was th- really low on their off. He was like, their offense is broken. Like, you know. And but I think they, yeah. they did change it a lot. Yeah, they then. did change it a lot since then. Like they, and that's what they, I'm saying. They made adjustments that yeah. they're capable of that. Yeah, you know. 
Yeah. Um, yeah. I don't think we're disagreeing. I think we're. I think we're um, all agreeing here. Yeah. <laughs> um, so, the tier list is shaped like a big F. Oh shit! <laughs> I think that shows Whoa. how perfect it is. Yeah, because it's like, what the fuck is going on? <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> All right, so I'm happy with this. In? Yeah, I like it. This is a crazy, oh, yeah. crazy season, and it's a fucked up looking tier list. And I think it's appropriate <laughs> for how things. I think Marquez has ever led in plus minus for an Empire game before last week. Probably. I think so. Mm-hmm. I don't know. He no. doesn't. He doesn't get like tons of assists, but he got five a line. and three blocks. It's hard. It's hard to rack up the. I know. Mm-hmm. Plus he only, he played D 18 D line points and he had a plus six, uh, plus minus. He had five assists, three blocks, one hockey assist. Hell yeah. But he also had a turn and a drop. So, yeah. You know, we should get that guy in the pod. We should get him on the podcast. Yeah. Hey, yeah. Well, uh, if you're listening and you can get Marquez on the pod, We'll send you some merch or something. Marquez, we know you listen. So if you've made it this far, just reach out to us on Instagram. Like we'll set up a time, whatever works for us. We'll, we'll let you know. Mm -hmm. We'll fly you out. I will be using my. Where would we fly him out to? (laughs) 